can't really tell if he looks like you. I suppose that's not a bad thing, though, is it? <laughs> Hopefully he'll take after his mum. <laughs> but as long as he's got her brains and her looks, I'll be happy. Still not fair it's happening to him, though, is it? Well, according to Aaron, people that are in hospital deserve to be there. No, no, just your brother. Guys, do we have to do this here? Do you know what? I'm going to get off. I just wanted to check you're all right. All right cheers, mate. Appreciate it. Good morning, Aaron. Oh, just ignore him. Reckon he's got a lot on his mind right now. Hiya. Hey. You're not going on my account, are you? Oh, not when I'm not wanted. He's got a cob on because he's got all my jobs to do as well. I've got Sarah today. So what's up? I needed to talk to you about your brother. They're going to try and bring him out of his coma tomorrow. I know you don't want to be there, but I thought I'd better tell you because the rest of the family's going. Well, the only people that need to be there when he comes round are the police, so they can arrest him for what he's done to Katie. Robert will be sitting up in that hospital bed demanding decent grub this time tomorrow. Who am I kidding? It's going to be traumatic. How do you come to terms with the fact that your own father-in-law tried to kill you? Just going to have to make it as easy for him as possible. I saw Andy earlier. He's no better. We're going to have to keep him well away for the time being. And he'll be thrilled to see the kids. Be a nice little break for them all. I wouldn't want to be trapped in a car with Kay. Anyway, I said I'd pop over in a bit. Look after the kids while Debbie finishes packing. All right, mate. I just wanted to apologise for being moody earlier. I had a lot on my mind. Oh, it's crushed. Where I live. Actually, mate, I was wondering if you could give me a heads up next time you're getting Sarah around, just so I'm not there. I know it sounds daft, but it's tricky being around and I'm not with Debbie. It gets confusing. I mean, I was like a dad to her and Jack, wasn't I? No, you weren't. He never even came close. Yeah, I'm sorry, mate. I know you're the real dad, but... Hey, don't patronise me then. Who do you think you are? We're all worried about Robert being brought out of his coma tomorrow, but there's no need to take it out on beat. Is that what you think? That I'm secretly worried about him? Robert has to be OK. There's no way he deserves what happened to him. Oh, please, come on. It wasn't that long ago he was all in here holding a vigil for Katie. And now no-one seems to give us stuff. That's not true. No? Katie's gone, and now Robert's being turned into some sort of hero. Why? Because someone had the sense to put a bullet in him. I won't apologise for caring. Robert was Jack's son too, and he's in a bad way. <sighs> Katie's dead in a grave, and Robert's to blame. But Robert's getting away with it. Every time. Well, hardly. He's lying in an hospital bed in a coma. Yeah, which is the best place for him till the police catch you really shot him. Your dad was only arrested because he admitted it. It's not some miscarriage of justice. Katie's dead, and Robert's gonna wake up tomorrow. How the hell is that fair? I only wish whoever had shot him had done a proper job and finished him off. to show you all right. Why? Guilty conscience? What, do you think I shot Robert? Well, I know that you hate him, so that's plenty of motive. Oh, well, I don't care who shot him. But it wasn't me. We're clear on that. No, we're not, because I also know that you wanted him dead just as much as Andy does. Hi, what's up, mate? 